Can AI content detectors accurately classify human and AI generated content? Let's put it to the test. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers and students use Google tools in the classroom. If you are teaching in 2024, you are probably a little bit concerned about the student use of tools like ChatGPT and Google Bard. How could you not? I have worked with high school and middle school teachers from around the country, and I don't know that I've spoken to a single one who doesn't have at least some concerns about student misuse of these tools on assignments. In fact, most teachers are suspicious that one or more students have used these tools to submit work that may not be their own. And so this naturally brings up the topic of AI detectors. Now, there are tons of free tools out there. Every single tool that I looked at somewhere on their website claims that their tool is the best, the most accurate at identifying human and AI generated content. It's really difficult to understand who is right and what the truth is. Um, and so I decided, well, let's put it to the test. So I gathered an essay written by a human student. In fact, this human student happens to be my own child. Um, I asked for permission and borrowed an uh, assignment that she wrote for an eighth grade science class. And then I used various AI tools to generate similar essays, the same topic. And I used lots of different strategies and in, in different uh, ways of using AI to create these papers. I did not make it easy. And I'd like to ask your help in putting five content detectors through the process of seeing if they can identify the human essay and the AI generated essays. So if you visit the website that's on the screen or uh, check out the link in the uh, video description, you will get access to this website right here. And on this website, you will see all five essays. Um, these are all in Google Doc format. There they are. They've all been anonymized. They all are trying to look the same. They all have the same topic. Uh, these are all written as eighth graders. And your task, should you wish to accept it, is to try to identify which of these five sample essays was written by a human child. One of them is a human, four of them are not. Now, I have five suggested AI detectors for you to check out. If you've got your own favorite, you certainly can um, use those as well. I would be very interested uh, if anyone has a subscription to Turnitin.com's AI detector. I would love to know what the results are for that. I do not have a subscription and they don't uh, offer free access to it. So I, I don't have a way of testing that, but I, I'd love to know. Um, so here are the ones that I have used. Um, Copy Leaks. This one I actually like quite a bit. Um, this is a Chrome extension that just sits up here in the browser and you can copy and paste anything in there and it'll just say, did a human write this? Um, I actually use this occasionally for my own writing. Um, Brisk Teaching is another really good one. They have a nice feature called Inspect Writing. So some of you may be using Brisk uh, for their AI teacher tools. They also have a, a tool that will identify or analyze student work for AI content. So you can check that one out. GPT-0 and 0GPT, very creative, I know. And then finally, undetectable. So those are the five that I am familiar with that I have utilized. They all have different ways of showing the results and the confidence of their scores. Um, so if you wish to help me out, take those sample essays, use those five AI detector tools, feel free to add in your own if you wish, and see if you can accurately identify the human generated content. Now, there's a lot of challenges and problems with AI detectors that have been fairly well documented. There is evidence that AI detectors punish English language learners and um, uh, individuals who just aren't that good of writers. Uh, and there's other evidence that says it just can't be done. Um, one great example of that is this 
OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, were working on an AI detection tool. They were doing this to help with misinformation. Well, they got into that project and they gave up. They said, you know what? We actually don't think this works, so we are canceling this project. So if the creators of ChatGPT don't think it works, that definitely sheds some doubt on the effectiveness of these tools. But before you jump to conclusions, I don't want to convince you one way or the other. I want you to form your own opinion based on actual experience using these tools. So head to the website on the screen, check out these tools and see if you can identify the human essay and the AI generated essay. Come back to my channel where I will be posting part two in this video series where I will reveal the results, which essay was written by a human, which ones were written by AI and the methods I used to generate those various AI essays. You'll be very interested that there's a lot of creative ways that students can use AI, you know, more than just asking ChatGPT a question. So look for part two. You can compare your results with mine and together we can decide if AI content detection is a real thing or all smoke and mirrors.